what's up guys once again you're welcome to our channel today all right guys there's very serious shaking in nigeria right now the military is shaking Tenobu is scared as the military came out today to announce that um there is there is an attempt to overthrow Tenobu and that um the military high command this is what they said the military high command says they are plot from different quarters to instigate members of the armed forces of Nigeria to overthrow the present democratic administration being led by President Bola Tenobu. Now, according to them, they said that this is going to fail. But you see, before the military come out, I'm just reading what the news says. Before you see the military coming out to confirm that there is an attempted coup. What they are, what they mean is that there is an attempted coup against Tenobu. Of course, you know there have been calls, you know, um, against ECOWAS going into war with Niger, and that Niger is still Nigerians. Niger, if you look at, if you look at um, the ethnic tribe that consists Niger, Hausas is sixty percent, and the one other tribe I've forgotten the name is. I think 30 something percent. Now, the problem of Niger, this issue of Niger, why you see the military taking over Niger, is two things that made the military to take over Niger. Number one, the other, the first one is ethnic in nature. President Mohamed Bazoum, the, the former president of Niger, is from Arab tribe. And this Arab tribe makes up less than one percent of Niger. They make up less than 1% of Niger, and they were put in there by, by France. France were the people who put uh, uh, Bazoum, Mr. Bazoum, there, you know, to be, to be their puppet, to do what they want. All right? So the second thing is this puppet of a thing we are talking of. France is using Bazoum to exploit the uranium resources of Niger. Imagine France buying this uranium from Niger at just a measly amount of $11 and selling it to the international market at $200, I think per kilo or something like that. So right now, the military have been called upon to overthrow Tinubu and attempts have been made. That's why you see the military coming out now to announce it. You know, normally this kind of thing is going to is supposed to end with the military circle. It's supposed to end there. They are supposed to brief the uh, the 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 presidents and a security cabinet, like the national security advisor. They are supposed to be briefed. But right now, for the military to come out to say this, it it means this thing is serious. Now, the director of defense, the director of defense information. Tuko Guzao, a brigadier general who stated this in the early message sent to Daily Trust on Saturday morning, described the development as worrisome. According to him, the military will continue to perform its constitutional duties rather than plotting any coup against the present democratic administration. Now listen to what he said again. Now, Guzao's reaction came on the heels of calls by some Nigerians that the military should step into the country's leadership position owing to the perceived failure of democratic government. But in his message, the senior military officer said the armed force of Nigeria under the leadership of General Christopher Musa, the chief of defense staff, will not for any reason involve in any insubordination. All right, so guys, of course, you know, Nigerians are against. In fact, Nigerian Senate have warned Tinubu not to go to war against Niger, that they should toe the line of diplomacy. That is, says the Nigerian Senate. So right now, um, everybody knows that this war is not favoring Nigeria in any way. But rather will lead to the destabilization of the entire West African bloc. And that the real people who benefit from this war is France and the West. They are the one. Okay, look at what happened to Libya. Today, Libya is no longer a country because of France, US, Britain's involvement in trying to oust Muammar Gaddafi. Look at what has happened to Libya. Or right, look at Iraq. Let's look at just take a look at Iraq. And uh, Afghanistan, 
these are the country that was invaded by the West, and today there's nothing to write them about this country. And again, if you look at um, if you look at the population of Niger, Niger is just a country of about 25 million population, and that they cannot be compared to uh, Nigeria. Now, in, in the whole West Africa, Nigeria is the strongest military, and Nigeria has the half of, in fact, Nigeria is half of ECOWAS population. So if you've not known this about Nigeria, just know this today. Nigeria is, is half of the entire ECOWAS country put together. Nigeria is just half of that. So right away, um, Niger here is made up of mostly Nigerians, especially the houses. So going into war with Niger is going into war against Nigerians. Now, both France and the U.S. that is instigating Bola Tenebu to go to war, they have evacuated their own citizens. They have done that. So, but Nigeria here up to this moment have not done that. And even Nigeria staying in Niger, there's also be an evacuation uh, uh, mission to try to evacuate them from that region. I mean, this, this will make a whole lot of sense. So guys, what do you guys think about this? Please kindly just drop your comment. Let me know what you think.